For today, we're going to be looking at quantitative versus qualitative variables. Okay, variables, remember, is what, we, what varies on our study. Now, our, our data could be separated as quantitative or qualitative. Now, quanti, quanti sounds like, like uh, how many, right? Quantitative is basically a number, right? So quantitative, right? If I ask you guys, all right, uh, we're going to do the study on the height of people, right? My quality would be numbers, right? Uh, in inches, if we're going to do it in inches or feet or whatever, uh, what's the GPA of a, of a class? My, my answer would be numbers. So that's quantitative. Okay, so quantitative are always numbers. Quantitative data uh, basically are results of counting or measuring attributes of a population. Now we're looking at the amount of money. We can do this, the, what's the income of family? Incomes is usually a number, so that's quantitative. Right, the pulse rate, the weight, the number of people living in your town. I don't know what else, the number of students who take stats. Right, all these are quantitative. The results are numbers. Now, quantitative, again, I, I don't write notes. I left a space for you guys to write what you feel you need to write. Quantitative are numbers. Now, quantitative data will be separated as discrete or continuous. We're going to talk about that later. Okay, but Not today, but we will talk about it later. Quantitative, the, the answers are numbers. Again, they can be separated as discrete or continuous, but that's a topic that is coming up. Quantitative sounds like quantity. Now, qualitative sounds like quality. Now, in stats, when we say quality, it's basically a result of categorizing or describing attributes of a population. I'm not going to say qualitative basically compares to the quality, like which one is better than another one. Not necessarily. Qualitative is that when our data can be separated into groups, right? Qualitative data are also often called the categorical data. I can separate it into categories. I can separate it into groups. I don't know, for example, the hair color. Right, if I had a group of students and I'm going to test, my study will be on the hair color. I can separate some with black hair. I can separate the blondes. I can separate the red hairs. Notice how my answers are not numbers. My it's by quality. It's basically my answer can be separated into groups. I can separate people by blood type. I'm not going to say a certain type of blood is better than the other. So qualitative, when we say quality, is not necessarily one better than the other. So Again, blood type, I'm not going to say one blood type is better than the other. It's just that I can separate you, right? Some of you guys are O positive. Some of you guys could be O negative. There's A positive, A negative, B, A, B, right? There's different types of bloods. I can separate you guys in groups. Again, not necessarily one better than the other. Qualitative basically means I can separate you in categories. Other examples I could be like ethnic groups, the car a person drive, right? Because some of you guys, uh, some people drive SUVs, some people drive trucks, some people drive sports cars, right? I can separate into categories. The street a person lives, like I could ask you guys for you guys' addresses, not the numbers, just the names of the streets. So those are examples of qualitative. Now, one thing though, one thing is that some of your homework, I'm going to ask you guys, is I'm going to give you guys some, some statements and then I'm going to ask you guys, is this quantitative or this qualitative? Then you guys will have to tell me why. And the reason why is because some of your answers, some of, some of um, when I ask you guys a question on your homework, some of your answers could be either quantitative or qualitative. So you have to tell me which one it is. For example, I could ask you guys the purchase uh, or, or toothpaste, going to buy toothpaste, quantitative or qualitative? Well, in reality, I can make it either or. So I, I don't just want a word. If I ask you guys the, the purchase of toothpaste, and if you guys just say one word, quantitative, 
or qualitative. You just give me the word without the support to, of your answer, I'm gonna mark it incorrect. And the reason why is because I want you to be able to support it. The purchase of toothpaste could be either one. It could be quantitative. So quantity, I'm looking at numbers because I'm going for the cheapest toothpaste there is, right? I'm looking for which one gives me more toothpaste for my money. So the purchase of, of, uh, of toothpaste can be quantitative. I'm gonna go again and purchase the cheapest toothpaste there is. That's quantity. Now it could be qualitative because I'm gonna go purchase a, a toothpaste depending on which one do I want. Do I want a whitening toothpaste? Do I want the brand? I like Colgate better than Crest or whatever brand you guys want. It could also be qualitative. So just the purchase of toothpaste, it could be quantitative or qualitative. Quantitative, again, is numbers. And I just said, I'm going for the cheapest toothpaste there is. I want to get more ounces for my dollar. That's quantitative. Qualitative, I can separate it into groups. Uh, grades. Grades could be, I could ask you guys, the grades in your class. That's another question that could be either or. It could be quantitative if you're looking at the percent. What's your grade? 85%. What's your grade? 72%. 35%. Right. That's quantitative. My answers are numbers. If I'm looking at a percent, it could be qualitative as well. What's your grade? An A. What's your grade? A B. So grades a student has in the class could be quantitative. It could be qualitative. Quantitative are numbers. Qualitative are separated into groups. Again, I'm going to ask you, and you guys are going to tell me which one it is, but why. I'm really looking more for the why than quantitative or qualitative. I want you to be able to support it. If I And the question I, on the homework, I said, grades. Grades a person gets uh, in class, and you say quantitative because I'm looking at the percents. And then give me some examples, if possible, 35%, 85%, 92%. Yeah, I would be like, yep, that is quantitative, definitely. Or you guys said, it is qualitative. The grades a person gets, it's qualitative because I'm looking at the letters, the letter grades, A, B, C, D, F. Then I see you guys are separated into groups. And I will say, yeah, 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 you're correct. So again, you're going to tell me quantitative, qualitative, but why? Let's take a look at a few examples. The data are the numbers of students or, or, or books students carry in their backpacks. So you guys have, uh, if you guys have your backpacks and you guys have books in there, the number of books that you carry, let's say I want to sample five students. Two students carry three books. One student carries four books. One student carries two books. And one student carries one book. Now the numbers three, four, two, and one, those are quantitative discrete data. Right now, again, I just want quantitative or qualitative. This is quantitative. How many books do you have in there? That's quantitative. But um, it could also be qualitative, not the number of books, but I could say, which books do you have? And then some of you will be like, I have a math book. I have a chemistry book. I have an English book. I have whatever books they are, then that will be qualitative. Now, you may collect data as numbers and report it categorically. For example, the quiz scores for each student are recorded through the term. At the end of the term, the quiz scores are reported as A, B, C, D, or F. That is qualitative, right? I'm separated into groups. Take a look at another example. The data are the numbers of machine in the gym. So I'm going to be going to gyms, and I'm going to look at the number of machines. So you sample five gyms. One gym has 12 machines. Another gym has 50 machines. Another one has 10, and one gym has 22 machines, and the other gym has 20 of them. What type of data is this? Well, because I'm looking at how many how many machines are in each gym? That is quantitative, quantity, quantitative. Because I said, how many? Now, if I ask you, let's see what type of machines they have. 
and you're like, oh, well, there's three that are uh, weight machines, and then two of them are ellipticals, and three are this. So you start telling me what type of machines they are, then that will be qualitative. So, But in this example, because I'm looking at the number of machines, that is quantitative. Now, the data are the colors of houses. You sample five houses. So I'm going to be looking at the colors of houses. The colors of the houses are white, yellow, white, red, and white. What type of data is this? Can it be quantitative? I'm looking at the colors. Quantitative? Not really. I, I, there's no way I can support that as quantitative. Now, qualitative, yeah, because I separate the colors. Some of them are white. Some of them are yellow. Some of them are red. Your street address, your 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 for your address. If you give me the number of your house, that is quantitative. You give me the the street name, that's qualitative. Okay, so you guys will practice a little bit more on this. Make sure, make sure you support your answer. Again, some of your questions can be either or, I want you to be able to support it. 